The results are in. And it is clear that the Tories, Theresa May, have made a political miscalculation. Or, to put it another way, they've made a fuck up. The Conservatives are the largest party with 318 seats, down 12 from 2015. Labour, led by Jeremy Corbyn, a man vilified by the establishment and the mainstream media, has spearheaded a party revival, it seems, with his positive message of for the many, not the few. Yeah, his message has resonated with people up and down the land. Labour, 261 seats up. 29 from two years ago. Liberal Democrats, 12 seats up four. Bad night for the Tories, bad night also for the Scottish Nationalists, 35 seat return, down 21 from last time out. Their total dominance of Scotland has been broken. So the Tories lose their narrow majority. We have a hung parliament. What happens next? One possible scenario, which I think is quite likely, is the Tories go into coalition with the DUP, make a quick deal. That would take them over the threshold to form a very slim majority in the House of Commons. The turnout was pretty high, it seems, 68.7% according to Sky News anyway. The Tories could try to rule as a minority government if they can get the backing of other parties in a confidence vote. People are already talking about Theresa May stepping down. Corbyn has called for her to do so. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen there. I'd like to see the Tories implode. I'm a Labour supporter myself, as you will know if you watch this channel. Such an event as this could precipitate the downfall of the Tory leader, given the nature of this particular election and the seemingly massive Conservative lead back in April. Expectations were for a landslide. I'm very pleasantly surprised, I don't mind telling you, I was pleasantly surprised getting up this morning and putting on my laptop and checking the results. So, this new parliament will meet on the 13th, a matter of days away. Will Theresa May have done a deal by then? Will she carry on as PM or stand down? Events and rumours will be coming thick and fast. It's mainstream media feed-in frenzy time. Don't believe everything you read or watch by any means. Could Jeremy Corbyn form a progressive alliance of the left? Labour, Lib Dem, SNP, Green, Plaid Cymru. Combined seats would be 313, I think. I may be off a little. The Lib Dems have ruled out a coalition anyway, but would they go back on that? I don't know. The SNP seems more receptive to the idea. As I write this, there is still one seat to declare, I think, and it's predicted to go Labour, so 262 seats overall, perhaps? Or maybe one more for the Tories. That one seat doesn't affect the outcome as such. As I said, likely outcome. Conservative DUP coalition to take us into Brexit negotiations. Is Theresa May now a lame duck leader? Yeah. This is... A political fuck-up. They can try and spin it how they like. This is a bad night for the Tories, and I am happy about that. Yeah, she certainly has shot herself in the foot. Conservatives weaken themselves. Labour has become stronger. 
the political landscape has changed again. I've speculated here, but admittedly I have no idea what's going to happen in the week ahead. We're in uncharted territory. Are we going to have another general election? I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. I'll catch you next time anyway, folks. Peace.